Mindset, a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Welcome back to another Morning Mindset Podcast. And I hope that you've got your mind right, or at least that you're willing to get your mind right. I am your host, Paul Markle. Thank you once again for joining me. The title of today's short episode is, Do You Really Know? Question mark. Yes, question. Do you know something for a fact, or were you just told? How often do you limit your experiences or your potential, because you allowed someone else to talk you out of it. You've allowed the opinions of other people to, well, influence your decision-making. And this could be person-to-person, or this could be via the Internet. And unfortunately, based upon the world that we live in, many times people take things from the Internet and they base their decisions upon the opinions of others. You may not work with a person or you may not talk to a person or you may not interact with a person because someone told you that that person blank, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. They told you that that person is this or that that person is that or that person said this or that person did that or what have you. And they told you that. And you don't know for a fact that that's the case, but that's what someone else said. Or you were thinking about going somewhere or doing something, and someone said, well, you you don't want to do that. Well, why not? Well, because blankety blank blank. And do we say, oh, well, okay. Now, I'm going to tell you that razor blades are sharp. I'm going to tell you that fire is hot. I'm going to tell you that it's not a good idea to stick a car key in a wall socket. Okay, trust me on that. You don't have to experience it for yourself to figure it out. But how often do you do that? Or do you? Maybe you don't. Maybe you're very you know, independent and fiercely independent. Maybe uh, you're a stubbornly independent person and you have to find out for yourself. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Often we will limit our experiences, we will limit our potential, we will limit our opportunities, not based upon what we know, but upon what we've been told, or upon rumor, or opinion. Are you basing your choices, whether it's career choices, or life decisions, on your own experience and education, Or are you basing them on rumors and opinions that are given to you by other people? And we need to be honest with ourselves here. Why is it that so many people will indeed give weight to the opinions or rumors or what have you of others? Why will they do that? Well, if we're honest with ourselves, and I think we need to be, if we're honest with ourselves, we will probably admit that it's far easier just to not do something, right? And often we embrace any excuse not to. Yes, many of us do that. I think we're all guilty of it from time to time, some more than others. What we will do is we will allow a rumor or an opinion or someone else's, you know, what someone said or uh, I, I Well, somebody told me this, or I, I don't even know. And how often do you end up in a position where you don't even remember the source of the opinion or the source of the rumor? It's just been going around. And so, rather than take that step forward, rather than take a risk, rather than go out there and live your life, what you do is you use that as an excuse not to. Maybe there's a person out there that you've been avoiding or haven't been interacting with that uh, is a good person. Maybe they can help you out. Maybe they can bring some value to your life. But you haven't experienced that person. You haven't talked to that person. You haven't interacted with them because, well, someone said blank. Maybe you were thinking about venturing out, taking a risk. 
Maybe you wanted to get a new job, or maybe you've been thinking of changing career fields. And to adults, you know, when you're a kid, you just you just go crazy and you do everything. You're like, wah! But then once you become an adult, you know, you're in your 20s and 30s and 40s, the thought of changing careers, of leaving your current comfortable job and going somewhere else or doing something else is scary. And there are people who will try and talk you out of it. There are people who will say, oh, you don't want to do that. Well, well why not? Oh, well, because it's, it's too risky or it's too this or it's too that. And do we let ourselves be talked out of it? People will tell you, well, you'll, you're never going to be the next blankety blank blank. Or you're never going to do that for a career. Or you'll never be able to. You'll never be able to make a living doing that. Now, if I told you today, if I said into this microphone, you won't be able to make a living v- doing VCR repair, I'm probably telling you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> if I told you you weren't going to make a living selling buggy whips, uh, you probably, well, I don't know, if you sell them to the Amish community, you can still sell buggy whips. But my point is this. Stop limiting your experiences. Stop limiting your potential because you're making decisions not upon what you know, but upon what you've been told. Do not allow other people's opinions and especially just rumors to negatively affect your decision making. Base your experiences, base your your ventures upon your own facts, upon your own experience, your own education. Go out and find out for yourself. Like I said, I'm not telling you to stick a uh, a car key in a wall socket. Uh, You shouldn't do that. Fire is hot. Water is wet. Ice is slippery. (laughs) Razor blades are sharp. You don't need to run a razor blade across your hand just to test and see if it's sharp. Trust me. But stop limiting yourself and stop allowing other people to give you excuses not to have new and better experiences. All right. That's uh, all I got to say. Do you know? Do you really know? Or have you just been told? All right, we are diving headfirst into this brand new year. I hope that you're excited about it. And uh, don't forget, we do have an official website. It's called MorningMindsetPodcast.com. Yes, you put all those things together, add a .com to it, or just put it in your favorite search engine. And if for some reason your normal podcast application isn't working or you can't access it, you can always go to our website and access the shows. And if you'd like an official Morning Mindset coffee mug, yes, indeed, or a poster or a copy of the book, Morning Mindset, A 30-Day Plan for a More Positive and Productive Life, if you'd like any of those things, you can get them from our website. Or uh, if you just want a copy of the book with no signature on it, that's cool, too. Go to Amazon.com, type in Paul Markle. P-A-U-L, that's me, Markle, M-A-R-K-E-L, and you will find it. I am your host, and I will talk to you again real soon. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com. Com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort, and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.